Hey guys, so I have here two whole Cornish hens. They came in like one little Purdue packet and these guys are really small, but um, I'm, I'm gonna get ready for round two over here. Look at this, comes in, has a little bag of guts and stuff, which is, I guess good if you're gonna make like a broth or something. Yeah, I can, I can totally use this for you know, cooking it, feeding it to my dogs. My dogs would love this. Cats will also love that. I'm gonna actually go ahead and rinse this off. Look at this girl. Oh, she is a beaut. You can see my, I don't know if you can see my finger all the way through there. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is a whole, a full little hen here. So small, I mean, this is like a snack. <laughs> By now you guys know what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some salt, I'm gonna use some pepper, and I'm gonna use some garlic. It's just, there is nothing else I'd like to use for this. And yeah, I do it everything to taste. It's your guys' discretion, of course. All right, so I got some kind of makeshift adobo here. <laughs> and, um, just throw it on in here. I'm gonna get my hands dirty anyway. I liked it. I like doing it this way. I I still didn't do any research on this. I just know that I read your guys' comments. And your guys' comments were like saying, hey, you need to um I forget what the what the word is. You're you're supposed to uh I forget what it <laughs> I really forget what it's called. Um this is not a term I'm, I'm very used to using, but I, I, I remember it whenever I, I look up your comments. Um, and it's to, to string it up. And I, and I did string it up eventually, but I just didn't do it tight enough or at all, or, or that great. She is going to provide us with substance. So I have to thank her for this. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'm going to go ahead and, and assume a proper length. And I'm going to cu cut a couple pieces out because uh, once I start handling the chicken, um, and this is just me thinking ahead, um, once I start handling the chicken, I don't want to put like chicken uh, juice and salt and pepper and garlic and stuff on this. Guys, check that out. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is what I learned, okay? This is, I, I promise you guys, I promise you guys, if I could show you my, look at that. <laughs> it's all good. If I could show you guys what I look at as far as, you know, cooking channels and stuff, I don't. I, I don't. This is just <laughs> what I learned from my first try and from my, what I read from what you guys, you know, had told me. Like, hey, you guys have to, you have to make sure it's nice and tight, right? Right? Nice and tight and uh, string it up so it's not loose and all that stuff. So I'm going to do it this way. And also, uh, you know, the, the Cornish hen was a good, uh, good advice. So I appreciate you for that. Um, this is a really nice size. Check I, someone had said I had like a turkey. <laughs> the other one, I promise you, I just had no idea. I had no idea. So anyway, and I'm gonna have my coffee now because I haven't had coffee. There's some waffles here. I don't know if you guys like waffles. Uh, we, my girls made these from scratch. We're gonna let her sit. After she sits for a while, we'll cook her up for you guys, okay? Round two. There, look at that. She fits perfectly. I mean, any I think any fatter and she would be just way too big for this. I'm not sure how, how much more I can get out of this. I mean, maybe it, I don't know. I have like an inch in a gap right there. And that's just for the tray there. So I guess the, the Cornish hen is the perfect is the perfect chicken for this roasty thing. So um, we're gonna go ahead and wash our hands before we start touching this stuff. All right, hands are washed. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oops, close them doors, uh, air fry, and it turns on the chicken. So I'm gonna leave it at this preset. I'm hoping that that's the correct. Uh, there wasn't anything on the recipe for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the 40 minutes to 435 temperature. And let's go here. This one has no, no writing on it and stuff, so. 
Look at that. <laughs> she still kind of jiggles a little bit, but it's definitely not because of something I did as far as um, like loose or anything like that. I, I think it could just be maybe the motor. Yeah. But I couldn't, I couldn't force it any more in because if not, I wouldn't have made contact in that one little spot right there. So that is as good as it gets there. But she's spinning and that doesn't deter me too much. I believe this is gonna cook nice and evenly. So yeah, I'll check up. I'll check up every 20 minutes because uh, 20 minutes will put us at the halfway point. We'll, we can see what it looks like. And then after that, yeah, after that. We'll get more intel. It's only been 10 minutes, and uh, it's uh, it's already getting nice and golden around the outside. I'm getting a little uh, a little sizzle going on as well, a little frying action, and uh, it takes a little break as it goes down, which makes sense. And it's got some splatter, which is nice. That's it's catching it. The uh, tray is catching it as it's supposed to. But it's looking good. It's looking good. The rematch. The rematch. All right, guys, I'm getting a lot of steam and some darkness. I'm actually gonna open up so you guys can see. That does not look <laughs> like I have a good temperature on this. It's only been 19 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop it right now. I stop it now, right? And if, if it's bad, it'll be this round for the chicken, I guess. <laughs> but um, I'll, I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens. I'm going to let it rest there a little bit, and um, we'll pull it out. After we pull it out, we'll cut it up. See what we got? Pepper. Pickles. Yeah. Pepper. See you. Goodbye. Go. Yeah, she just swallowed it. <laughs> you didn't enjoy that. Go out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. We're done here. Transaction's over. Hey, kitty cat. You want some of this? You like that? Oh, she has no problem with the liver. This is how I call my cats. Really, really, oh my god, you really like the liver. Again, all I did was I just, <laughs> all I did was just heat them up. At the end, I took a little water and I just hooked them up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, I'm going to feed the other one upstairs, up in her perch, because I don't trust this one. She'll eat all her stuff. Oh my god. There you go, grab that. Grab that. I already fed you. I already fed you, Penny. It's Pixie's turn. There you go, Pixie. Enjoy your liver. Man, they have no issues with the liver. Not me. I'm not a fan of liver, guys. Gross. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's look on that side. A little wiggle, a little wiggle waggle. All right, I got it. I don't know why I wouldn't get it, but definitely need both hands for this. All right, I'll lay the the hen here. All right, so it's it's cooled down a little bit. I waited a little longer. Uh, I let it rest for a couple more minutes as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just snip into these real quick. Cut these guys out. All these little strings. I'm actually gonna take these the spits off. Undo this. Ooh. I must have did this one real good. <laughs> I mean, it feels like some crunchy chicks. Okay, that's one. And that's one. I mean, this is 
It smells really good. It smells really good. I can't, I can't wait to rip into this thing. I have an idea for the next one that I make. Uh, probably off screen. I'm probably not going to have to do another rotisserie after this. This, is, this should be pretty good enough. Um, I'm probably going to tie the legs first with their own little... Their own little rope and stuff. Yeah. This looks... Oh, man. Looks really nice. Take this little rope. Throw it out here. We don't need that for now. All right, I'm ready to cut into her, and we're just gonna go straight down the middle. She's very hot, but she's also very soft too. Looks like it's like a lot of. Feels like cartilage, which is not bad. There you go. I, I believe the timing might might have been right. Um, oh, that was like a little bubble of fat there. So I'm going to start by removing maybe a wing here. I'll go straight down. Doesn't matter. Looks looks good there. There's a little red here, and it looks—I like, don't know why—it looks on the camera like super red, but it's actually not that red in in our in my with my human eyes. <laughs> so let's see. There you go. There you go. This is really really hot and since this is the thickest part i'm just going to cut into this right here it's a demo what that looks like in the inside okay there's that and there's that go ahead and cut a little more test because I am curious to see if the 20 minutes was enough mm, mm, mm. Hmm. yeah I believe the 20 minutes was enough um, it tastes mm. it's really good. really soft really juicy this is nuts <laughs> Like it preserves all the moisture. Like, look, this is oozing out juice. It's real, man. I am really impressed <laughs> how good this is because, again, you could, this is white meat. White meat tends to be really, really dry, and this is like, like I could squeeze it. I don't want to do that, but I mean, look, my fingers, right? Look, just let me see if I can get a drop or two. Look, look at that. That is, that is something else, man. That is really, wow. It tastes really good. The salt was ripe. It's so, so soft. <laughs> I think we got the rotisserie down, at least the chicken. And, um, yeah, it came out really good. It came out really good. I can eat this by myself. I may not share. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one.